Greetings, and welcome back to The Colonists. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I'm really excited to begin the next scenario in the campaign, Gold in the Nar Hills. Yes, uh, this is another peaceful scenario where I guess we're going to get up to the next level of, uh, of tech. We've only been to like level two of the mining stuff where we got the coal and um, iron and stuff from those shaft mines. And I we were reading about the quartz and stuff like that. And... Uh, and uh, the mud for brick making. So I'm hoping we'll get to see that in the next scenario. So we have only one difficulty level. Let's go ahead and play it. Again, I am playing on YouTube, so I'm not that interested in the timing. So we're just gonna play to enjoy ourselves. Um, but we are gonna try to make an efficient colony. I think last time's um, the strategy with having those small enclaves with paths in between to to utilize the carry bots, that was a really good strat. So we're going to use that again in this one. And uh, hopefully, oh, yay, we found a planet. Oh, yeah, I love how expressive the robots are. They're so cute. Okay, let's look around and see what we got here. Let's pause the game a little bit. Oh, what is this? Oh, quartz, pretty. Oh, my God, that's pretty. Okay, so we have quartz, we have clay. And we have some stone. Wow, it looks like we need to get this stone out of here so we can go through here. There's another bit of water here. There's some water here. There's some fish. Nice fish. Um, we have fish here as well. Lots of trees here. Man. <laughs> we can start out maybe. Maybe we can have an enclave on this beach a little bit. Well, it's kind of a bit out of town though. Not quite uh, making me that happy. I think we need to build, oh, I really want all the places outside the colony ships area. One thing that I did learn in the last episode, or not last episode, but the last uh, scenario was that we need to have two roads at least uh, for the long backbone of our colony. Maybe though we'll get to trains. I really hope so. That would be a lot of fun if we did. No idea. I've not played this scenario before, so I don't know like how big the trains things are. I've seen a little bit of the video um, of on the website, not the website, or is it on the Steam page or the website? I don't know, wherever it was. And the train the trains are kind of chunky, so I imagine the tracks are like too wide, uh, but we'll see. Um, I think maybe, wow, we don't have a lot of trees in this area either. We have to really expand. All right, let's start out with getting some watchtowers down. But I think if we add trains, they're gonna have to be much later. We might even have to destroy most of the colony to get them in, we'll see. Um, but it's really hard to plan it when you don't know the dimensions of things. So anyway, it'll be fine though. It'll be just great. Um, let's start out with putting a watchtower here. Uh, we have a little bit of stone there. Let's put another watchtower here. And we need one here. And probably one out here. gonna have to get that beach anyway maybe there is okay and then one this way possibly can we oh we can build another one there though maybe no oh yes we can right there i think i'm gonna take advantage and build that one i think that's good uh i want to start out with this tower here let's mark out paths where i think i want roads let's just do this first connect that um I want to have a road going this way. So this will be there. Maybe. How many spaces? One, two, three, four, five there. We could have four and just do like this kind of a thing. Let's just do a little bit of planning with the roads here. F having four in between is a good thing, especially if we have two uh, lanes going there. Five might be even better because it would allow us to have a three wide building and a two wide. But this watchtower is not in that great of a position for that. Let's just delete the watchtower and this as well. So maybe we can put this road here instead. Can I? Thank you. Thank you. Good. Just to have a nice wide area where we can put um, some other stuff. So let's go ahead and just collect this again. Try to add this here. It's not ideal, but it is better than before. I think we want this five wide area. This is going to be for a lot of, um, whatchamacallit thingy-majingies. 
uh, construction of buildings, lots of buildings in here, lots of workshops, things like that. And then we'll have this enclave coming out here, just building basic roads at the moment, just to get stuff done. We definitely want this prioritized, this watchtower first. Um, this is going to be good. I think we'll put our first road through here, here. Okay, and then we'll just mirror this on this side. And then have a really quite a structured way of building this place. I think this might be a good thing. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We do need a uh, surface mine here, right there, to get this stone out of the way. We need a lumberjack hut. Very clearly we need this. So let's flip that to be this way. Uh, we don't actually have a lot of trees. So I want to prioritize this. I am purposefully not connecting those two right now. We don't need them at the moment. But we can get these guys done. We also want to prioritize this watchtower there. Oh yeah, that one's already prioritized, silly me. All right, and we're going to get the lumberjack hut up and running. And I want to get... I think I'll have the... Um, the sheep farm here and then the houses on the beach and maybe the well in this little green patch there that's going to be important so we'll get the lumberjack hut finished first so we can start chopping real trees here and i wonder how i want to have the for actually the forest being right here as a good spot whoa that would be an awesome spot for a forest okay let's get this done i think this is what we want let's go and hurry them up a little bit Let's get them to go and collect things and move stuff on. Yes, good, good. Very, very nice. And who do we have here? We've got Kayun, Dr. F, Lupus, hello, Steve, hello, and Caladorn, and character, and more character. <laughs> You're all over the place. Maverick, and Cindy, hello. There we go. And we have Off the Ball, right? And the Guru, and Salem. All right, we've got all the carry bots. And all the carry bots are named for um, my Sky Singer uh, level of patrons. Thank you so much for being my patrons. I so much appreciate it. I can't even tell you how much that means to me. It is so important. So um, I'm, I'm so delighted to see you in the game. This is very exciting. So anyway, I'm going to build a forestry here. Kind of wondering if I should have... Maybe I should take this road this way. I just have a lot of lumberjacks on that road this way. Maybe. Okay. In any case, we'll put this here for now. And then we'll hopefully plant some trees here. Um, there's not a lot of places I really want to plant trees at the moment. Um, let's just take these guys and plant them there. Yeah, there's only have nine trees left. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's sad. I do want to get this done, though. Oh, we have the beach. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We have coal. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's great. Oh, my God. This is so good. Okay. We're <laughs> obviously quite excited about this. Mm -hmm. uh, right. We want to build our houses on the beach, I think. We're going to have beach living for these guys. Uh, it's going to be nice, and they're going to have a nice time and just really enjoy themselves. Uh, we'll have our well right over here. It doesn't work, does it? Let's flip it. Does that work there? Yes. Oh, that's handy. Okay. So this is not going to be a road. This is going to be a not road. Okay. Okay. I want to add, let's first of all, <laughs> we do need to add the sheep farm. I want to do that first because that's quite important. We can actually, oh, we can actually add this here if we want to. Um, that's a bit close though. No, that's not quite right. Could we add it that way? No, 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 it doesn't like that. All right, that's fine. We'll build it here and we'll have the sheepy bits later. In any case, we can put this road there, connect the little enclave road here. And then just add them there. So we have three houses. We need one more. I really don't want to delete that starfish. I think it's kind of cool being there. Wow, we can actually extend this off the shore as well. Neat. Um, that makes me wonder if I should put like two sheep farms here. 
We could have one, two, three. That's one, two, three, four, five, six houses here. Um, we could do that. We could have two sheep farms. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dear me. I didn't mean to do that. If you didn't notice. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was not good. Sheep farm. Another sheep farm here. Actually, I'll put two in between so we can have another well. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six houses. We'll grab another. We need another two houses. Hmm. This is going to be a problem as well. If I change this orientation, though, let's kill this right now. And we'll put in two more houses, because that's what we need. One, two. We need the sheep farm and the well. So the well can go here. Flip it. Um, we need that road to come through here. And then the sheep farm can come this way quite easily. Yeah, I think that's good. So we'll have two enclaves here. Okay, and then we'll take our road post and go up like this. Okay, and this is two enclaves of houses. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight houses. We have two sheep farms and two wells. And a very, very small amount of roads. This is looking really nice, actually. Really nice. I don't think we could really fit them any better. I guess I could finagle the beach a bit, but I think this is just fine. I think this is quite nice. Um, we won't need to really worry about this too much. We're wasting, let's see, like one tile here with the well. But we'll get into the mine nicely, and we can change this road post. So we're going to blacklist uh, fish. No, not fish. We don't need fish. Uh, meat here, and then we're going to blacklist the water. There we are. Okay. So there we go. Life is now better. Um, let's get this sheep farm auto place these pastures, and then we're going to change these quite a bit so that they're this way. In fact, I'd like to have them going into this area as well. Uh, we'll change it this way. Wow, that's 50. Excellent. This sheep farm, let's auto place these and then change them. I want to get at least this amount done there. So we have two. Um, if we should leave it for three to have the blacksmith stuff over there. And then these guys can just go in this direction, possibly, for 50. Okay, there we have this. It's not ideal, but it is okay. It's not too bad. I think we can extend it further here uh, when we get more territory. But I think this is looking really nice, actually. It's quite nice. Do we have any iron that we see? No. Uh, but we do need to go and grab that stone soon. Oh, we have this one. This is fine. Let me prioritize this uh, mine getting done. The lumberjack hut I will take off for now. All right. This is looking pretty darn good. And the lumberjack hut, we can... Let's slow down the game uh, as well. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't want to clear the tiles. Arr! <laughs> darn it. Uh, we can put some behind here. Any place that there is uh, a little bit of room that we can add stuff for now. Okay, that's fine. So the mine has completed. I think with the colony ship, I'm going to build only wood. So we'll build only wood, please. Uh, because of our shortage of wood at the moment. We really should uh, get this one. We need to get this tower done. So let's prioritize this tower. Okay. And prioritize a house. The well is prioritized there. Let's get this sheep farm prioritized as well. So we have one of each item that works. The This one should not be prioritized. Instead, we'll prioritize energy getting to the lumberjack hut. Uh, so that we can get more trees cut down. And these guys, I wonder if I should just add some... My thought is to add some uh, lumberjacks on this side here. But I'm not quite sure how that's going to happen. Hmm. I could just add them here and then just have this whole area full of trees. But I do need to have this watchtower finished before I can do much else. I need eight logs. Wow. Alright, at least these people are getting, well, they're 
They're going to make energy soon. Wow. Are we having any energy made? We may need to just do half and half here. Just to get some energy done for the... Uh, yeah, we do. We need energy more than anything else. Alright, so they're getting... They're doing stuff. Thank goodness they don't need energy to get the water done. But we do need materials for the sheep farms. Okay, they're building this. Yay! Now we have food. Okay, now we can get logs made. So that all these other buildings can get stuff done. All right, hopefully they'll take this energy to the lumberjacks. Yay, there they go. There they go. And they're chopping trees. Most excellent. This is good. So now we'll be able to have a functioning colony, get everything running. This is quite good. Very, very good. Yay. I might be saying yay too much. <laughs> but I'm just enjoying myself. It's like, yeah, it's fun. All right, I'm go not going to connect these watchtowers yet. I'm so tempted. It's like, oh my God, we need, we need... But we don't need just yet. We're, we're okay. We really need to build these houses first. We are getting some meat from the sheep farms. Okay, we only have 10 trees left. But now we have more. Yay. Okay. What I want to do is... I think I would like to... Man, I wish I remembered this configuration there. Let's leave two spaces. Let's build two lumberjack huts here. Um, we'll get our path. Well, actually, we could get a road here. Just a short road. Get these things done and get this entire area cleared. And then we'll get our uh, tree planters. Now, how many tree planting... How many guys can we plant per day? Let's look. Let's look at our tree production thingy. And see, we're planting... Let's see, 1.4 per day. And these guys are making... Oh my god, it's hard to tell what we're doing here. We have three of these, so that's going to be... Let's see, 4.6 and 1.4. So they they do like one and a half per day. So it's like one to one in terms of forestries to lumberjack huts. That's what I was looking for, is that ratio right there. Um... I think I might just get another forestry here. And I want one maybe here. Okay, guys. There we go. Very nice. Let's get one here. So that's going to be three forestries and three huts. Okay, nice. Just so we can kind of get a little bit of a an increase in stuff here. Now, how many is this going to be? If we have the potential here. All right, so we have potential 5.4 and we can do another hut, seems like it. I hope that means we can do another hut. Not quite sure, but that's what it looks like to me. So we're going to add, so now we have four lumberjack huts. This is good. I think this is very good. And I believe we can start planting the forest. So tree-wise, log-wise, we are producing 6.1 per day. Now, if we have a sawmill, which we do need, um, that is going to be... I think it's two per day. No, it's four per day. So this is already a lot per day that we're suffering under here. We can have another sawmill maybe here. Uh, I think this is good for now. Um, maybe we could add another one. Maybe let's just add one more. But I don't know if this is enough space. That's the thing, is I don't know. Is this enough forest to support all of these lumberjacks? I kind of don't think it is. Or I kind of think it's not enough space. Um, let's add this here. We can't seem to add it over there. We could do one more space and add another forestry, though go like this okay I think that's enough for now now then uh, let's get all the forestries organized and we'll get our planting area to be let's put it this whole thing like that for now and we'll just say we're not gonna go past this road here but we can go in between sections there okay so that's one forestry 
just trying to remember for my own sake, like where can we plant and where not? Okay, there's another one. Let's go to shadowy XP's forestry here. It's quite easy to do this. Okay, and then cushions. There we are. All the way down here. Good. We get these little spaces. Okay. All right. I think we're quite quite happy with things. We have one, two, three, four forestries, one, two, three, four, uh, five lumberjack huts. I feel like this is a good start. I, I like this so far. We're going to have plenty of stuff. Of course, we only have eight energy to go around, so <laughs> it's kind of funny that way. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to get there at some point. It'll be fine. There's a lot of fish out here. This could be a really nice new colony area out there as well. I think we might push for that too. Um, let's go ahead and go out this way and we'll take the road this way as well. There. That actually might be a really good place to do a permanent road. So we're going to do so. Alright, nice. Forestry has finished construction. Excellent. So now we should begin really planting the trees quite uh, vigorously. <laughs> if that's a thing. Uh, oh, here's another fish area. But do we have enough fish? I don't know. Let's see what we can do with the fish here. Um, one, two, maybe two here. Not a lot. Not a lot of fish. Not enough fish. All right. We have uh, started stuff, so let's go ahead and get our... Um, we haven't even started research yet, but I would like to put our research lab right here. I think that's a nice spot. All right, we got stone available here. Iron ore is in sight. Really? Oh, here. Wow, nice. That works for me. I want to just do temporary roads for these guys right now. I don't know which way I want to head with that, but... Um, it's okay. We have a nice stone deposit there. I, I think we're going to need more soon, though. Um, okay, good. Let's get this prioritized so we can get some stuff done. We'll put another... I think we'll put the other one here. That seems like an okay thing to do. Or here, possibly. Or maybe back here. I don't know. Uh, two gives us space for some kinds of buildings. Oh wow, we have more lakes. This is exciting to, to d discover all this stuff out here. It's kind of fun. All right, we want to go just kind of in the middle of things. Take this one this way and of course grab some of the stone here. That's the way I want it. Okay, this way. There we go. Should be able to get these going quite quickly. One idle workshop. All right, Kuriana, you're our new researcher. Let us go and get to start stuff. Scaffolding, mining. Mining is always good. Coppicing is very good. Let's take that first. I don't know if we're going to have enough space for all these trees. I kind of wish I knew this information. I should do some tests and just see, like, how many squares with coppicing one, two, or three provides enough for a lumberjack, for example. You know, that kind of a thing. Man, this is exciting. This is so exciting to have all these, like, this huge territory to explore. I felt quite, like, hemmed in by the other, um, um, the other scenario where it was just like these very narrow spaces for doing stuff. I was like, oh no, this is not good. All right, one idle workshop. Let's go and make stuff. Uh, science. Now, I had a suggestion to do science, and I actually tested this in another, um, in the previous game at the end of it. I was like, okay, what does this actually do? So, research speed, it is actually the speed. So, what it will do is it does not change the requirement of materials. So, research would still be 20 stone in this case, but the rate would be like 3.7 per day or something like that uh, instead of 3.3. I don't know what 10% is. It's something. Or 3.6 maybe. Um, anyway, so it doesn't reduce materials. Most of the problem with research is the materials. That you just can't get enough uh, materials fast enough. 
So anyway, that's that's why I don't really re research speed. Um, and I'm glad I really discovered exactly what that does. It's quite important to know. Ooh, nice. We're getting some of this fish stuff over here. Um, yeah, let's get that road going that way. And we have more trees here as well. I think they seem pretty happy with this forest. It's not too bad. Um, looks like our foresters aren't quite getting down here fast enough. Okay, we have stuff. Many things. <laughs> we have things happening. Yes, of course. And mining speed is also a good thing. So we're just going to get everything going. Wow, I, I just kind of want to discover the whole territory before I even build any more stuff. Um... Wondering if this is worth it. Oh, iron ore on the surface. That's interesting. Uh, we have the underground mine here. That's nice. Quartz we can't even use yet. But I'm glad we're getting some of the research done. We definitely need to get the scaffolding and stuff done really quickly. But I'm happy to have this double colony. This is actually really helpful, I think, in providing us uh, extra materials. But we might want to do that. I feel like this would be a really nice map to do other stuff. Let's look at the map map. There's Wow, there's stuff happening up here, especially. Okay, that is to the left. So that's this way. So if we look at the map, it would be upward from here. That's right? Yeah, like this. Okay, so there's a million and a half things up here to look at. So we'll try to go in that direction. Um, get more stuff done. This is so exciting. This is so good. I'm really excited about this. Can you tell? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I do get thrilled about this. I'm so happy. Um, and I feel like I, I really love that there's no enemies here. This is also making me quite happy. Um, so come on, guys. Can you let's let's prioritize this watchtower so it gets done. Um, yeah, because I really want to explore stuff and get things. Oh, oh, here we go. Kitani. Hello. Your watchtower is done. This is great. Okay, it's just more stuff. Lots more stuff. So it would be good to get this stone out of here. Uh, to get a road going this way. Like this way. I guess we'll have to go around the tower for now. Um, yeah, it's kind of a stupid place for a tower. Bad place for a tower, no. I guess we'll have to get level 2 towers in order to get rid of this. Because this is in the middle of the main road. I don't know why I put it there. That was kind of silly. Oh, what is this? Salt. Oh my god, we're going to have french fries next. Oh, we have underground deposit for iron ore. Oh, all right. I'm excited about this. I can, I can get behind this kind of thing. Let's get this road there. Yeah, there's really no way through here so far, unless we go around this way to get that stuff. And here we can't get through until we chop some of these trees. But maybe we can sneak a road through this way. We'll see. Alright, now the question is how do we proceed from here? How do we want to do this? I'm wondering if we should just chop a lot of these trees. I could send one of these lumber yards into saying, hey, chop all these trees, please, like these. And then just pretty much basically chop all the trees there. I uh, will set both of these, I think, to do that. Just get rid of them because we don't need them for our current stuff. So we can actually have this area better built for things like sheep pastures and such. Now, if I have partial fish feeding stuffs, I guess I could add just a couple extra. We could have another enclave of sheep farm four plus whatever two that we can get from the fish or maybe one. I'm not quite sure how much we can get. Actually, let's find out how much we can get. Let's find out how much, how many fish we can get from this area. If we flip this, does that make it better? No, it makes it worse. Okay. Ish. Okay, we can make two. So that's two houses. And we need a road post out here. Now this is going to be the hard part. I think we'll put the road here for now. Come on. Ah, mining one. Excellent. Okay, iron ore deposit available. Ooh, yes, that's very tasty. All right, go away thing. 
workshop. Select research. I want to get the construction stuff done. Let's get snowed masonry. Get that done so we can get stone or the construction one done. Come on. There we go. Nice even roadways. One, two between them. Yes, good. And we will take this thing that way and delete all of this stuff. Because so we're going to need to put our sheep farm around here somewhere. Yeah, okay, those are looking pretty good. I'm not connecting these fishing huts yet because we need to have a road post that we can forbid stuff from going anywhere. So let's go ahead and let's plan out our little um, enclave with houses and stuff. Let's see. Houses are really great on the beach because they don't need to be on arable land. So we save our land for this. That's two. We want to have six all together. Three, four. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, autosave. Okay, we'll have a, a road going this way for the watchtower. Five. And I think we can have six on this side, possibly. Flip it. There we are. Six. Okay. Now we're going to have... Connect these guys this way. We even have roads this way, perhaps. Okay. And then we'll connect our sheep farm. Now that's going to be an interesting thing. We need a well and a sheep farm. So let's get our sheep farm. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, this is wonderful. Yes. Okay, there's our sheep farm. And we'll connect this with the road this way. Okay. And now we just need a well. Let's get a well. I like to just copy paste. It's so nice. Hello. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Let's flip it so it's kind of more... No, we can't... F it's not that friendly that way. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. It's good. Fine. The road post will go that way. So you know what? I'll just connect it to this road post. Like that, maybe? It's not that convenient, is it? I could connect it the other way, though. I could say... No, let's just take down these guys. We'll just build a new road post, like here. That's better. I think that's better. Okay, that's very, very good. Now then... Huh. This is connected in quite the wrong way. <laughs> but we may have to just change that later. Let's first of all, before we get any of this stuff done... Well, well we need to forbid stuff. Let's forbid stuff for now. Take water, ban it, and then meat, also ban, and also ban fish. Okay, good. Okay, one idle workshop. Let's keep on researching stuff. Uh, scaffolding, go. Sounds good to me. And let's figure out these farms. So fish, this, this farm, let me take off stuff like this one. So let's just go this way. Okay, and that's as much as we can do there. That's fine. This one, we'll change this. And we'll go this this way. Or wait, let's change this all together. Add them that way. Okay, and that's our 50. Good. Actually, we'll take that off there and add it there. Okay, that's fine. We could even do funny mazes if we really wanted to. Um, but yeah, we'll auto-place these guys. And we'll change that to be a little bit different. I think we want to have a row of three here available. And that actually is going to be a really nice thing, I think, to do this. Um, too bad I can't... Pl All right, that'll be fine. That's fine. It's 50. <laughs> it's 50. It'll be fine. Okay. Very nice. I'm, I'm happy with this, I think. This is going to be really good. So now we have all of this stuff working. We have lots of road space for buildings along the sides of the roads if we want them to be. 
Um, so this is this is most excellent. This is very good. So anyway, I think we have a great start to our colony. Oh my god, look at this. All the research is getting done super fast. This is amazing. I think we want... You know what? We definitely want to have our arrows. Let's do that. Oh, we can't do it yet. Uh, cobbled roads. Yeah, we'll definitely need to do this. So anyway, good start. I'm really excited about the next stuff. We just need to expand a little bit more and we'll be golden. Wow. There's another... Oh, more iron ore. More salt. What is this? Is that a cactus? Oh, look at that. It's a cactus. Oh, can you plant in the desert? I wonder. Probably not. Unless maybe it's a tech thing. I don't know. I don't think I could plant on the winter snow either. But anyway, okay, we're all cool. We're good. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.